My name is Graeme Linehan. I'm a comedy writer and director. My name's Helen Linehan and I'm a mum of two and Graeme's wife. <laughs> as soon as we got married, we started trying to have a, a baby. When Helen finally did get pregnant. Quite quickly. We, we did that thing that you're not supposed to do, which is we told people. Yeah, we told everybody. <laughs> we were too big... excited. Oh, it was, it, do you remember we had, we had um, photographs of our wedding and at the, we were showing our parents the photographs and right at the, the, the last page we'd, I'd drawn a really silly picture of a baby and said we're having a baby. We had our scan at 12, just under 12 weeks, um, very excited and we were told that there was something, there was a problem, there was something wrong. We were told to go back the next day, so we were, you know, obviously we were very worried. And the next day they confirmed that we, the, the fetus, had a condition called acrania, which is uh, where the skull has not closed, has not sort of formed properly and hasn't closed over the brain. Um, and it has a 100% mortality rate, basically. There's no possibility that that fetus will grow into a although I would carry I could carry that baby would survive in the womb um but uh as, as soon as it is born it would survive for about an hour and suffer and be terrible it would be awful and die so we were booked in to have a termination it's very traumatic sitting in a waiting room with um, heavily pregnant women, um, knowing that this little flutter in my tummy was not going to survive. So, um, uh, so we had this scan, and. Uh, it was on the Friday and we were booked in the following Monday to have a termination. So we had a weekend living with this. Even a weekend uh, is a long time. It was really hard. Then, you know, we had the termination on the Monday, which was awful because I was, you know, being sick with morning sickness until the very moment I was wheeled into the theatre in... Um, and it was very sad, but I just praise the treatment and the support we were given by the hospital because, because in other places it's different. In Ireland, Helen would go to jail for going through with that operation. I would have had to have gone full term no, knowing that this baby, no, going into, you know, going into shops and everyday life, having a heavily pregnant body, people commenting, saying, people complimenting oh, you. oh, when are you due, all that kind of stuff. Going through labour, your body's changed, knowing that this little baby is not going to survive. Who knows what pain it goes through when it's born and, you know, with an exposed, oh, it's just awful, awful, dreadful to think about. All I wanted to do was get over, you know, that hurdle of what had happened to us and, you know, try, try, try again, try move again. on, try again and move on. The idea that it's illegal in the country where I was born, mm. a country I'm very proud to call myself uh, Irish, um, but I'm thoroughly ashamed uh, of the abortion laws. And it's time that Ireland grew up about that. I just think Irish politicians need, need to treat this as the emergency that it is. We will not be a mature country until we move past this point.